All right, so here we are with the A-Pin 3D metal model. And as you can see, I was finally able to build it, but it took me two tries. And in a second, I will show you the reasons why it was so complicated to build. All right, Julia, can I have the other model? Sure. So my first try was a failure because the um, landing wheels. gear, the landing gear, failed completely because it's extremely um, easy to break, and also there's a couple of parts that connect the wing to the chassis here that also failed to build uh, because they actually turn out to be the wrong size. So when you try putting them on, they just smush together. Um, as you can see here, this part here broke a little bit. That's another part that tends to snap really easily. And I'm going to zoom in. You see all these super tiny tabs? Well, that's the reason things break when you're trying to build this model. Um, all those little tabs there tend to snap because you need like tweezers or I didn't have tweezers, so I had to use this. And so bending these things into place so that they can stay together is a huge, huge um, problem. problem. Yeah. But aside from that, if you are very, very good with your motor skills and um, you have a lot of patience, you can get this to work. Or at least you can get, I would say, 90 uh, Ninety-five percent of the model to be fully built. As far as the rest, which, as I said, there's a little piece that goes from there to there, that is the uh, wrong size. So um, that's something they could improve in their next model, should they decide to um, keep making these things and um, selling them. I would definitely <coughs> consider doing that anyway. There you have it, the 3D metal model from A-Pin, 360, um, and um, here's the picture. And see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this review.